Yo guys, how's it going? It is JT Judgment here. I hope you're all doing well and welcome back to another team of the season player review here on the channel today. And in this video, guys, we're going to be taking a look at the 91 rated team of the season version of Lars Stindl. That's right, guys. We're going to be taking a look at team of the season Stindl today. And oh my days, this guy's card looks absolutely bloody bonkers. If you see these stats, guys, listen to these. He's got 80 on everything when it comes to his card fist stats, 80 pace, 82 to defending 89 physical 94 passing 95 physical and 96 on the shooting you look at his in-game stats guys i'm not lying you the video will show you guys exactly what i'm saying every single in-game stat apart from the goalkeeper stats obviously is green it's absolutely insane the sort of stats this card has you know just to name a few of them guys 97 attack positioning as well as 97 on the visions 99 reactions 98 on the stamina 97 ball control 96 on the finishing 94 on the long shots and 99 on the short passing to name a few of his in-game stats guys when it comes to stats with this card they are out of this world you know so what did i think of him guys well i actually got lucky enough to get him in a pack that's right guys last stindle for me personally is a first owner item so i was definitely going to get around uh, to doing a review on this card for you guys and i am so freaking glad i packed him and i am so freaking glad that i have the opportunity to use this card in this game because Lars stindle team of the season turned out to be an absolute freaking beast for me from start to finish he was a goal scoring machine and not only that guys i thoroughly enjoyed using this card in the process you know i've used many cards in ultimate team that have scored goals regularly for me but weirdly enough i haven't really enjoyed using the card in the process but stindle for me thankfully he scored me some fantastic goals and i had an absolute blast guys from start to finish while using this card now when it comes to the strengths and weaknesses like I do with every single player that I do review. Sorting them out for the team of the season version of Stindle was extremely, extremely easy, guys, because there is only one. That's right, guys. There is only one weakness that I did find with this card, and that is his weak foot for me was very inconsistent. Now, considering he does have 96 shooting on the card, and if you look at his in-game stats, guys, he does have the four star on the weak foot. I was hoping and praying that he would actually be as reliable on his left foot as he is his right foot he is a right footed player guys but unfortunately for me his weak foot turned out to be very very inconsistent he was always you know hitting shots wide especially inside the box as well guys you know shots that you would consider a goal pretty much every single time he was hitting them wide and the ones that were on target for me guys unfortunately he just didn't put enough power behind the shots regardless of how many bars of power that I put behind the shot he just hit them straight at the goalkeeper guys not challenging challenging the keeper whatsoever and yeah it just didn't work out for me you know but when it comes to everything else is shooting with his right foot guys was absolutely freaking incredible the goals will show you and demonstrate exactly what this card is capable of if you are like me guys and you like taking long shots finesse shots just generally shooting from outside the box then this card is something that i definitely recommend you guys buy for your team if you've got a german team or if you've got a bundesliga team try and fit this card in test out to shoot him from a distance guys you will not be disappointed he was absolutely freaking insane for me his pace for me was pretty decent now i was going into the game thinking you know what seeing as i'm using him as a center forward i'm not going to be using him to you know just get on the ball and try and sprint through teams because i don't think he's going to be capable of doing that but guys he really did surprise me he felt much quicker than 80 pace for me guys you know now i did use him in the hawk chemistry style which apparently does boost his pace up from 80 to 80 now he honestly felt like 86 for me guys and if that is the case this is one of the only cases that chemistry styles have actually made players feel uh, you know slightly different for me in game he was very very fast for me at the start of games especially but bottom line guys he just felt faster than 80 pace for me guys you know his dribbling and ball control for me was awesome as well he kept the ball very very close to his feet the left trigger right trigger dribble technique on the edge of the box to try and create space to unleash a long shot from about 30 yards 
cards was extremely extremely effective uh, with this card and then just in just in general guys his dribbling had absolutely no problem thankfully he wasn't one of those players that constantly lost the ball due to a bad touch that alone is something that really did make me enjoy using this card because I've used so many players in the past guys that have got a good dribbling stat that have lost the ball constantly from a bad touch for me thankfully team of the season Stindl was not one of those players his passing for me was pretty decent as well now going to his record guys I think in about eight games he managed to score about 14 to 15 goals he only managed to pick up one or two assists for me now going from that his passing may actually look bad but seeing as Stindl was so good at shooting for me I was actually spending most of my time trying to actually score goals with him rather than create goals but his passing for me guys in general even though he didn't pick up that many assists for me was pretty reliable his strength was decent you know it's not something that I would say is absolutely insane he's got 89 physical on the card he didn't quite feel like that for me guys he was bullied off the ball a lot easier than I would have expected from time to time but again countering that there were times where he felt like he had 95 strength you know if it weren't for those times guys I would actually consider his strength to be a weakness but you know seeing as he did muscle off a lot of defenders that I was expecting him to lose the ball to it did surprise me from time to time guys so I had to consider it a strength so when it comes down to it guys you've got a player here who's got 80 plus on everything when it comes to his card face stats all of his stats apart from his goalkeeper stats obviously are green when you look at his in-game stats he's got good pace guys he felt faster than 80 pace for me his shooting with his right foot felt like 96 shooting for me his shot guys was absolutely ridiculous but on the other side of that though guys if you are thinking of buying this card for yourself even though he's got four star weak foot guys based on what he was like for me his weak foot was extremely inconsistent so it is definitely something to keep in mind he's got 94 passing on the card which i felt in game his dribbling for me was fantastic his strength was decent as well he was always in the right place at the right time for me and he genuinely felt like a player that could perform well in multiple positions you know you could use this guy as a center mid a center attacking midfielder a center forward like i did or even a striker if you so wish and i think stindle would do absolutely incredibly well in any of those positions guys he was fantastic for me so that is going to wrap up this review if you guys did enjoy smash the like button down below use the comment section guys if there's any reviews that you would like to see from me let me know guys and i will get those done as soon as possible subscribe today for more content to come soon and as always guys most importantly please take care and i will see you all next time ta-da guys